It's hard to imagine, but that abbey was once a thriving bazaar, bustling with commerce and teeming with people. Nothing left but rot and overgrowth, and an abundance of dangerous beasts. Well, there is one thing that I hope remains from that time. The golden anvil that once graced Xanathar's abbey when it was still a place of wealth and commerce. It is a holy relic that was stolen and hidden away by Avarice. I hope to learn its true whereabouts for the Resolutes of Xanathar, my order. I did not expect quite so many deadly creatures nesting in the abbey when I set out. Otherwise, I would have enlisted fighters before departing. Priests of Xanathar are not known for their might, but we have deep pockets. Are you for hire? The Golden Anvil was hidden away by the bazaar's arbitrator, Gavos Duar. We should search the abbey and learn all we can from Gavos's fall. It may lead us to the anvil's ultimate resting place. The Golden Anvil was said to have once been unremarkable iron, worked tirelessly by a pious smith to build a simple trading post. Xenathar transformed the anvil to gold, blessed with divine prosperity for that honest labor. And the abbey was born. Most likely, it's well known that Gavos hid the anvil away before he was overthrown, but nothing seemed to indicate that it was removed from the abbey. With Xenathar's grace and some hard work, perhaps we'll have better luck finding it. As I've said, the Abbey was once a great bazaar, but that alone didn't make it special. Here, people of all kinds exchanged not just objects, but ideas, pieces of their culture. They saw the foreign as something to be valued. Sadly, it didn't last. Those who valued coin more than commerce infested it, until their greed utterly corrupted Xenathar's abbey. Gavos Duar and his ilk destroyed this wonderful place with their avarice. Not even the anvil was enough for him, it seems. As arbitrator of the bazaar, he was responsible for the peacekeeping forces. Gavos and his soldiers were the only ones permitted to be armed in the interest of preventing violent disputes. It didn't take long for him to abuse that power. The rumors claimed that he used his office to enrich himself and drove this place to ruin through tax, tariff, and embezzlement. Gavos was overthrown eventually, but the anvil was never recovered, and neither was the prosperity it provided. You are not familiar with the resolutes of Xanathar? We are keepers of the resolutions, the temples of the Divine Provider. We offer succor and instruction to those who provide honest labor or wealth. Those who follow our teachings prosper. The foundations of civilization and prosperity, labor, commerce, and exchange. Xenathar smiles upon those who work for themselves and others. Through fair and honest trade, we better the world. The teachings show how best to conduct business. The history of this abbey and its fall into ruin remain clouded in mystery. All I know for certain is that the Golden Anvil was never recovered. We should search for surviving records from Gavos's time. Some trail to follow, however waterlogged. The bazaar, of course, but this abbey also had a thriving port. And despite its size, if you wish to conduct business in secret, like plot to overthrow a tyrant, you would need to do it somewhere secluded, like the Outer Grounds. 
So much rot and squalor. Will any record of Gavos or the Anvil have survived? Some of the buildings and stalls. I don't want to hurt you, but Let's now start. I'm going to. That confirms that Gavo stole the golden anvil away. But where? Davos must not have been popular if even his own soldiers turned on him.
should fetch a fair fetching price. Sarah. Like your own. Don't let them throw you around like that. Anger away forever. Embrace 
Embrace us! Let us drown you in love! Come by those too often. should have joined the buoyant armagers. These merchant lords may be the last people to see Gavos alive, but did they find the anvil? Let me see those documents for a moment. These confirm that Arbitrator Gavos hid the anvil, but not where. There was a rebellion led by the trade ministers that even Gavos' guards sided with, and he locked himself in the Abbey's Aditum. I think that's very likely. An aditum is a sacred place within a temple. Only the clergy are permitted within. It would have been within the Arbitrator's authority to keep it locked and guarded, even from the Trade Ministers, his personal sanctuary. So it would seem. If the aditum remains sealed, we'll need the three sigils mentioned here to open it. They were last in the possession of the Abbey's three Trade Ministers that we know of. We should search their holdings. Many of these bazaars had a directory to allow patrons to find goods and shops. We should see if we can find mention of the three trade ministers, Ralos, Quentin, or Esdir. That should give us an idea where each of them did business. Powerful merchant clergy who organized the trades of the Abbey's bazaar. They were the ones who led the Abbey to great prosperity before Gavos seized power. A good question. Perhaps the cost of that victory was too high, or Gavos' desecration was too great for Xenathar to forgive. If anyone was to have kept records of what actually transpired, it would be the trade ministers.
The letters mentioned the three trade ministers. Now that we have the directory, it should lead us right to their holdings. Soldiers were bribed? After all that talk about righteous rebellion, it leaves a bad taste in my mouth.
You thought I wasn't prepared, didn't you? Didn't you? I was thinking things were too easy today. That directory should lead us to the holdings of the three prominent... Of course, this toil is ours to share. What is it you'd like help with? It seems as though the new arbitrator was pressuring Rolos for bribes. His mention of the phrase, under the setting sun, seemed to spook Rolos. That must be a clue pointing to his hiding place. But I wouldn't take it literally. It must be a landmark.
There must have been little trust between the trade ministers for them all to have hidden their sigil keys from each other. So they knew that Gavos had the anvil. They just wanted the opportunity to steal it for their own gain, instead of returning it to the people. Trade Minister Esdir trafficked in Skuma. No wonder Xenathar abandoned them.
Oh, that's all three sigils. We can unseal the Adatum. It will be within the Abbey's temple. Should be the Abbey's Aditum. Worked! The Adatum is unsealed! Let's not waste another moment! Is that... Oh, this can't be the Golden Anvil, can it? It was abandoned to the hardships of time. As I was... But the anvil's sparkle began to fade well before the Abbey's fall. I should have worked harder. It can't be. Are you... Kavos Duar? It's been nearly... How are you alive? This is all too much. Talk to Kavos, please. I must attend to the Holy Relic. It seems I finally paid my penance to Zenithar. For letting this glorious place crumble. Oh, so many years alone. But I never gave up. Honest toil. Zenithar provides to those who work. Just as the seal kept out the war that raged between the trade ministers, the cracks let in the rain, and the roach, and the rays of the sun. These were my wages for care of the anvil. And prayer. I barely recognize it myself. Pitted and corroded beyond repair. I did my best to preserve it. Not nearly enough. Its glow began to fade as the Abbey became corrupted by avarice, opulence, and depravity. So, I hid it away before anyone took notice. I know. I had no defense against their wealth and their poisoned words. The harder I fought to curb their ambitions, the more I became their common enemy. Once I was gone, though, they were free to fight among themselves. They tore this place apart. I can still feel Xanathar's presence here, however faint. All is not lost. For what it's worth, I believe Gavos speaks the truth. I can see great care has been taken for this anvil, in spite of the toll of years and the corruption of the Abbey. Xanathar has not fully abandoned this house. Almost. The Golden Anvil hangs on by a thread, thanks to Gavos's care. But it will fade completely if Xanathar's faith in us is not renewed. There is hope. Both for the Anvil and Zen Willing, the Abbey. Xenathar is the divine of honest work and just rewards. You have labored tirelessly on the behalf of his faithful. The first pure, unsullied toil this place has seen in ages. Let us dedicate our compact in the name of Xenathar, in his holy house. No, only hard work can return the Anvil and the Abbey to glory. But Xenathar may see that this place is worthy of redemption, and renew his blessing upon them. Will you make this offering with me? Blessed Xenathar, 
I bring you this laborer whose calloused hands do your blessed work. Please, lay your hand upon the anvil. By these hands and this coin, an honest day's work is done in your name. May it be the first of many to come. Trade be. Oh, the anvil! Sends light shines brightly once more. Trade be. My work here is finally done. Now, all I ask for in return is to see the open sky. You have earned that much and more. I'll get the door for you. You have been a great boon to the resolutions of Xenathar. I could not have found the Golden Anvil without you, let alone save it from its ignominious fate. I'll inform my order, and through our efforts, perhaps they'll be able to restore this abbey to glory. Regardless, Xenathar leaves no debts, and you more than earned your due. Take this blessed coin with all my thanks. Even now, Xenathar is teaching me. I came seeking his blessings of wealth, and instead I find a life he spared from the sickness of greed. The true divine wealth we discovered here is that old man, I'm certain. I didn't seek out the golden anvil for its material worth. I was in search of something touched by the divine. To have endured so long in that tiny prison, he must truly have communed with Xenathar during his captivity. What else would you call it? He stayed true to the teachings, and carried the resolve of Xenathar in his heart to endure, even as everything around him crumbled to dust. Faith like that is worth far more than gold. We can learn much from Gavos. If the Primate agrees, he might very well become one. <laughs> Miracles aside, Arbitrator Gavos is a wealth of knowledge long thought lost, and he has witnessed firsthand how even a holy temple of Xenathar can become corrupted by avarice. Lessons to remember. Without you, the Abbey's downfall would remain a cautionary tale with all the wrong lessons, and poor Gavos its villain. Xenathar shone a light on the truth through you, laborer. Your works honor us both. I'd like you to accompany me to the resolutions of Xenathar, Gavos. Your story is one we should all hear. If this old man still has use left in him, it's Xenathar's to command.